Hello everyone, hope you're having a glorious day. Here's a question I get all the time. Are people born gay? Culture tells us people are born gay, they can't help it. But is this true? What does science say? How do you know fact from fiction? Well, science definitively says there is no gay gene. There are numerous factors that influence our behaviors. And human sexuality is a behavior. See, genes determine our traits and they determine our traits 100% of the time. So what is the difference between a trait and a behavior? A determined trait is something like eye color. And 100% of people with a gene for blue eyes will have blue eyes. See, genes determine traits, not behaviors. So behaviors are complex. Many environmental factors influence behaviors. Traits are not behaviors. Let's take a behavior like criminal behavior. All of the criminal behavior, of all the criminal behavior, 89.5% is committed by males. So if you have a Y chromosome, you have male traits 100% of the time. But are you going to have criminal behavior 100% of the time? That is the difference between behavior and traits. But the greatest proof of this is monozygotic identical twins. See, these are two people with the exact same instructions, the exact same genetics. They have identical genes. And so they have the same traits. Now, they have different behaviors. If we have one example of this, one pair of identical twins where one is straight and one is gay, we have definitively proven that the human sexuality behavior is not a determined trait by the genes. And there are thousands of examples of identical twins where one is gay and one is straight. See, the myth of being born gay is as untrue as being born straight. Behaviors involve choice. Traits have no choice. I didn't choose to have blue eyes, but I choose my human sexuality, human sexuality, my behaviors of human sexuality. So the culture would like us to believe that, well, if I'm born that way, I'm just genetically made to do something. But this is myth. This is fiction. So what causes homosexual behaviors? Well, there are many influences, just like criminal behavior, there are many influences that influence our sexual behavior. But we know some of these things are indicators of their influence of homosexual behavior. So sexual abuse is higher four to five times. The average age of male sexual intercourse is 12.7. That's a child. So molestation we know is involved in first exposure to things like through pornography. If you're raised by heterosexual parents, you're about two to five percent likely. But if you're raised by homosexual parents, that is uh, a lot higher. It's a lot higher uh, of people that have homosexual behavior. And 26 studies have shown this to be true. So affirmation of these behaviors is known to influence uh, its expression of this homosexual behavior. Now, there's also shame with cultural shaping. It's called the effeminate rebuff. And also, we do know that monozygotic twins of homosexuals have an increased rate of expression, 20%. So there is a genetic propensity. So some of these traits are playing into the, or shaping, influencing uh, the behavior. So uh, hope this is helpful and uh, in sorting out uh, human behaviors and human traits. Have a wonderful day.